If you love ancient history and you love the structures and the queens and the theories surrounding the ancient world and you love new archaeological discoveries or human evolution, then I suggest you subscribe to the channel, click that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload. And if you do like my work, then maybe consider becoming a Patreon or a channel member. So recently I was in Malta staying with the amazing Laura from the Megalith Hunter channel here on YouTube. And I'll put a link here in the upper right corner to her channel, so subscribe to her. She took me to some of Malta's amazing ancient sites, including the famous cart ruts. So what are these cart ruts I hear some of you ask yourself? The cart ruts on Malta are deep tracks or grooves or even channels in the eyes of some and they are located in the limestone on the island of Malta and Gozo. While I was walking around with her on multiple locations on the island, looking at these cart ruts, I kept thinking to myself that these cart ruts seemed incredibly ineffective to be actual cart ruts. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But before we go into that, I would like to quickly mention that this video is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. But more on that later. First, I have to be so kind to introduce myself. My name is Kaylee, and in today's video, we're going to look into my personal hypothesis of the cart ruts on Malta having been carved to transport rainwater. Not carts. So your first thought as you're watching this might be transport water. <laughs> Why would an island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea have to transport water? doesn't necessarily make sense when you think about it like that, but <laughs> I can quickly answer that question for you because um, yeah, Malta is indeed an island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, but it's also quite the unique island when it comes to its landmass. The Mediterranean Sea, however, is as the name already says it, it's a sea. <laughs> and that means that the water is not fresh, it's salty, and as you can imagine, this makes the water not suitable for drinking. Which is a bit of a problem, because you'd like to drink water to, you know, not die. <laughs> so what's so unique about the landmass, and what does all of this have to do with the cart ruts? I'm still hearing you think these questions, so let me answer this for you. Most people don't seem to know this, but Malta is an island without any permanent lakes, rivers, or waterways which is quite a bit of an issue as an island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Waterways have been formed after heavy rainfall, but all these waterways have been temporary. This means that at the surface of the island, you cannot find fresh water, not even in ancient times, it seems. And you are surrounded by, again, the salty Mediterranean Sea around you. As we all know, we need fresh water to survive and, you know, not die. And in modern times, we need good and healthy food to be as easy as possible because we are quite the busy creatures. So as I mentioned at the start, this video is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. Get your delicious recipes with perfectly pre-measured ingredients delivered straight to your front door. With HelloFresh, you get a yummy, tasteful home-cooked meal made with fresh quality ingredients. So stop worrying over your meal plans and searching for the recipes online or making trips to the grocery store to enjoy your appetizing meal. With so many options to choose from, HelloFresh makes your life so much easier. You can indulge in delicious meals without the worries of having to figure out to find all those ingredients. There are numerous different recipe options from family-friendly to fit and wholesome, pescatarian, to various veggie options that are perfectly pre-portioned without wasting any produce, time, and especially your money. I personally think it's the best way to unwind after a long video recording session and just to treat yourself to a tasty meal with everything you need, ready and prepared in advance with products sourced directly from farmers. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description down below or go to hellofresh.com and use code pochkaley 16 that you can see here on screen for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes, plus free shipping. So back to there not being any sources of fresh water on the surface of the island of Malta, how would the ancient people in Neolithic 
times or in the Bronze Age survive on such an island? Well, first of all, the Carterets are currently believed to have been created in the Bronze Age. But I personally feel that they are much older. I think that they were created in the Neolithic era by the same people that created the megalithic structures on the islands. Like, for instance, Menaidra, Hajar-Im, Gigantia, Targin, and the Hypogeum, to name a few. Which, by the way, I've seen them all and it's incredible and I highly recommend going to Malta one day. <laughs> So these cartrets are found in both the coralline limestone and in the Globigerina limestone on the island. They can be found up in the hills and even under the sea. Because, you know, water levels fluctuate over thousands of years. There is such a high number of cartrets in Malta and Gozo and they vary so much in shape, size, distance, depth, width and height that they actually seem to have never been actual tracks of carts. They leave the people who see them in pictures on the internet or in footage on YouTube or even those like me who have actually seen them in real life. They leave you with a lot more questions than answers. But today I'm trying to look into it a little bit. Malta is not the only location where these cart ruts are found, although it is without a doubt the location with the highest concentrations of cart ruts. But as time goes by, more and more of these cart ruts are discovered in Europe and in America. Although I would like to note that the majority of the cart ruts in America are actually really cart ruts, as they have been proven to be. Most of them really are. It's just that on Malta they really aren't. <laughs> So the cart ruts in Malta are highly unlikely to be actual cart ruts. This is because not only do they differ drastically in height, width, depth, length, distance, shapes and sizes, they're also located on the most strange places on the island, like leading straight off of a cliff. <laughs> and some even led into the sea. And there are even ruts discovered on the seabed of the Mediterranean Sea. Why would you need a cart rut in the seabed of the Mediterranean Sea? Doesn't make any sense. This leads people to come up with a massive variety of theories that could possibly solve the mystery that is the Maltese cart ruts, from ancient aliens to an ancient advanced civilization. Although I personally don't think it's that grandiose of a mystery. Mostly because I personally do not believe in ancient aliens and I have a hard time believing in an ancient advanced civilization. I haven't seen any definitive proof on either of them. <laughs> so yeah, no. I need proof. I think it's much simpler and much more functional than strangely shaped ancient carts that would leave these tracks. Thinking back to what I sort of started with in this video, the fact that Malta is an island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea that has no permanent lakes or rivers or waterways, we can look at the functional use of these cart ruts. So what if these cart ruts were created by the Neolithic temple builders to transport the rainwater to their preferred locations all over the island so they could then store the water for later usage. I'm not saying that this hypothesis has no holes or that it's the only possible solution to the mystery that is the cart ruts. I am simply just saying that after seeing them with my own two eyes, I feel like this is the most, if not only logical explanation for the creation of these cart ruts. The historians may have, for now, <laughs> dated the cart ruts to the Bronze Age, but as we all know, you actually can't date stone. You can't date stone itself, and there is not much else to date when it comes to these cart ruts. So them dating the ruts creation to the Bronze Age is actually just a very educated guess. I believe that they were created by the Neolithic temple builders because they used the same stones for their temples, the Globigerina limestone and the Coraline limestone. They knew how to work this type of stone in whatever way they wanted because we've seen that in the temples. We also know that the Neolithic temple builders abandoned the islands of Malta and Gozo around 2500 BCE. And the reason for them abandoning the islands may be very much unknown for the rest of our lives because it's a mystery that most likely will never be solved. But we do know that a little over a hundred years later, 
the Bronze Age inhabitants started to repopulate the islands. These Bronze Age people did not possess the same skills as the Neolithic temple builders, so it doesn't make any sense that they would have been the ones to create these cart ruts, because the creators of the cart ruts would have needed the same skill set as the Neolithic temple builders. They would have had to have the same knowledge to work this type of stone. One of the possible reasons for the Neolithic temple builders to abandon the islands could have been drought, a lack of falling rainwater to collect and therefore the soil became much less fertile. Deforestation on a large scale could be another possible reason, just like the overuse of the soil decreasing its fertility as well. Or it's a combination of these three things and a hundred years later the soil sort of regenerated. I don't know. Of course, as I mentioned already, my hypothesis for these cart ruts being used to transport water could very well be flawed, and that's okay with me. But up until this point, it seems that all other possible hypotheses for these ruts are flawed as well. And looking at all these flawed hypotheses, I personally think that this water transportation theory is least flawed and most functional. <laughs> We know that limestone dissolves over time due to moist and water, so this could actually explain why some of these ruts or tracks are extremely deep and why they differ so much in their overall shapes and sizes. I also found this picture from the Epang Palace in China dating from between 500 to 300 BCE. They created these ceramic water pipes to transport water and this is one of the reasons that I really do personally believe that the cart ruts in Malta were actual water channels. They do not look the exact same, but it's the same basis. We can always agree to disagree and if you have a different opinion or theory surrounding these Maltese cart ruts, then please let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to click the link in the description down below or go to hellofresh.com and use the code POGKELY16 for up to 16 free meals and 3 surprise gifts across 6 HelloFresh boxes and free shipping. Now that's a good deal. So thank you so kindly to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'm very grateful. And if you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy watching these kind of videos. And click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner or click one of the links in the description down below or click a video in the end card. I would also like to say a massive thank you to all my channel members and my patrons. I'm eternally grateful for all your support. And yeah, this was the card ruts in Malta, my personal hypothesis that's probably very flawed. But I mean, I'm only a woman that, you know, tries to use her brain sometimes. Every now and then. I mean, you know, <laughs> one plus one equals two. I can do a little bit of math when I'm awake, but yeah, no, please don't think that I'm capable of anything more than this. I also, said Globigerina a couple times very wrong and um, <laughs> got annoyed with myself. So no, no bloopers this time. Um, see you in the next one. Bye.